you know, when you grow up, you take, you just, your parents tell you how to behave and, you know, and people around you uh, tell you what is good and what is not. And then when you have suddenly to change some of the things, even very little things, it's hard. It's just hard. But uh, it's possible. Меня зовут Мара Сухолуцкая. Я преподаю иностранные языки в Центральном Восточном Университете. Я проработала здесь уже 13 лет. Гораздо дольше, чем я планировала поначалу. Мне и в голову не могло прийти, куда меня приведет судьба. I was born in Караганда, which is in Kazakhstan, one of the former republics of the Soviet Union. Um, I lived there only for six months and then my family moved back to Kyiv in Ukraine because that's where my family was from. My papa was an engineer and a poet in the heart, and my mom was a journalist. I was born in Kyiv with a happy baby and I was not At first, when my parents moved uh, back from uh, Kazakhstan, uh, we lived uh, with my grandmother and it was one room apartment with water and uh, other utilities outside. And my grandmother, her sister, uh, my mother, my father and me lived in one room. It was uh, divided by a big armoire. And um, we lived there for a couple of years because it was very difficult to get an apartment in uh, the Soviet Union. They were free, but you had to stay in line, you know, for, for years and years to get one. Когда мне исполнилось 8 лет, подошла папе на очередь на квартиру. Мы получили комнату в коммунальной квартире. Впервые у нашей семьи появилось собственное жилье. В детстве я много читала и занималась спортом. That's what my parents always telling me, Mara, read, Mara, read, Mara, read. And we had a big library of maybe 2,000 volumes and I was reading a lot. I was also um, spent a lot of time for sports. I was a figure skater for many years. I was on a youth national team for Ukraine. And also I was involved with, in ballroom dancing and I competed in ballroom dancing. Конечно, Запад имел влияние на всех нас. Мы имели хорошее представление об Америке. Uh, of course, we had only two channels on uh, television, which was plenty sometimes, I think, here. <laughs> and we had movies, and uh, actually we had a lot of American movies, too. Some like it hot, that was my favorite movie. I saw it seven times in Russia. Образование я получила в Киеве. Я изучала иностранные языки в университете, а потом защитила диссертацию по методике. Это и послужило причиной моей поездки в Америку. Я нашла номер телефона на объявление о конференции. Как оказалось, это был телефон в университете в Аде. The very first time I came to the United States in March 1991, I came to participate in the conference on foreign language acquisition because this is the topic of my thesis and of my uh, research interests. And I learned about uh, the conference by an accident. There was a contact number on a flyer and I called and it happened to be Rosemary Benya at his Central University. So I asked if I could come and she said, yes, you could. And I asked what were the terms and she said, you pay, have to pay for this, that, that. And I asked a stupid question if I could pay in rubles. <laughs> Because that's all I had, you know, at that time in the Soviet Union, it was even illegal to have dollars. You were not allowed to have foreign currency. And you could not exchange Russian currency for any other currency, unless you had the permission of the government, which you couldn't get anyway. Um, so she said that she will find out if somebody would want to sponsor me here. And uh, my university agreed to pay for my tickets. However, they wouldn't give me a penny, wouldn't allow me to change money, so I came here. An established scholar with no money at all, because I wasn't, I guess, enough daring or brave to sneak in some dollars illegally. The people who met me in the airport, they were also foreign language educators in Maryland, and they gave me $10. 
and I was very happy. And I bought a cup of tea in the airport, and that's how I learned to do it buy drinks at the airport. It's way too expensive because out of my allowance of $10, I lost the first part of it right there. Rosemary Benny and I lived in the small numbers in the conference room. She asked me, did she want to teach in the university for the year until she will be in Czech? I agreed, although I was confident that it will not go further in the conversation. On the 4th of May, I received a fax in my university, and that was an invitation from Dr. Cole and at that time Dr. Bullman uh, to come and teach for a year at his central university to teach Russian language, Russian literature, Russian geography, Russian history. And my father, who was a very particular person, he said, Mara, you can't go. You don't know geography of Russia that well. <laughs> so. <laughs> I got all the books and I studied. Незадолго до того, как я собиралась приехать в Америку, в СССР произошел переворот, организованный противниками реформ Михаила Горбачева. Эти реформы были направлены на предоставление большей самостоятельности советским республикам. And because the coup d'état happened, nobody was allowed to leave the country, so I was three weeks late. I came on my birthday on the 4th of September 1991 to Ada, Oklahoma. Well, I came for, with my two girls and a lot of books on geography and history. And um, in one year, uh, Rosemary decided to stay another year in Czech Republic. She really liked it there. And I liked it here and I thought it was a wonderful opportunity for my daughters to learn English and the culture. And for me professionally, it was, uh, um, a unique opportunity, and I wanted to stay another year. And besides the political and economic situation in Russia and the Soviet Union, there was no Soviet Union anymore by then. It was all deteriorating. So I was offered to stay another year, and I did. My daughter and I did very well the first two years in Adi. I didn't know what would happen later. Третий год был самым тяжелым, потому что денег для моей должности в университете не было. There were many people in 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 the community who wanted me to stay and thought that I had something to offer. And they talked to apparently to people at the university, and Dr. Cole told them that if you want her here, we'll go raise money for her position, and they did. So the third year here. I stayed due to the efforts of people in Ada, of my friends in Ada. I have never been in a position to ask for money or accept money from anyone. It's a very different, uh, in Russia we don't even talk about money because like this situation wouldn't have happened in Russia because it's just different. It's a, whether the authority decides that you will have a position or you won't have a position. So it's just a very a different arrangement. So it was very strange, but uh, it also made me feel very well, good, because I thought, well, I guess maybe I'm worth something. And I tried to prove that they spend the money on something right, I mean, that it wasn't wasted. Потом мне все-таки удалось получить должность и остаться в Аде, и вырастить моих дочек. И Аня, и Маша закончили школу в Аде, а потом и университет. В дополнение к русскому я начала преподавать французский и испанский языки. I speak six languages. Uh, Russian, Ukrainian, Polish, French, English, Spanish, Oki. That's in addition, I guess it's a, a language right there. So I can say flares instead of flowers. You know, when I came here, I was speaking just a British English because that's what I was taught. Now I just say, just, I think I'm tr I, I can fit in. I think I can. Поначалу нам было нелегко жить в Америке. Я до сих пор скучаю по Киеву с которым связано так много воспоминаний, дорогих моему сердцу. Школа, университет, друзья. Могила моего отца тоже в Киеве. 
Мне бы хотелось чаще бывать там. Теперь мои переживания менее болезненные по сравнению с первыми годами, проведенными здесь. По многим причинам мне нравится жить в Айде. I like uh, that people are friendly and uh, they uh, want to help. Uh, they are ready to do something, even if they don't know what is it that you need, you know. And uh, I like sincerity of people. Sometimes you hear, oh, like just people here are just they're not sophisticated. Well, sometimes uh, people are so much sophisticated that they lose perspective and this and they're not sincere anymore, you know, they become cynical or sort of not exactly truthful. In aid, uh, I think I like it. У меня была удивительная жизнь. Мне довелось жить в разных странах. И я убедилась в том, что в конечном итоге все люди очень похожи между собой, вне зависимости от того, где они живут. It's interesting though I wanted to make this comment if I can that in Russia I was teaching English, you know, my degrees are in English and French and I was teaching English at a specialized school at the times of the Cold War, you know, and I was promoting understanding and uh, appreciation and respect to English, uh, which is British and American culture, literature, traditions, and here I am. It's interesting, I'm teaching Russian here, and uh, I just think it's just wonderful. And I think in the long run it makes you a better person when you have an understanding, a good understanding, not a superficial understanding, an understanding of what is the core of a culture. I think it makes you a better person. I wish more people would know more about different cultures. I think it will make our life in the world better.